Julien Melchiorri and uh, my project is called Silk Leaf and I'm showing it here in uh, Royal College of Arts at the final year show. Silk Leaf is the first man-made biological leaf and with this I mean that it's a material that uh, uses photosynthesis to absorb CO2 and transform this using light into oxygen. Thanks to a material that is extracted directly from the fibers of silk and this material has an amazing property of stabilizing organelles or organic uh, molecules uh, inside its own uh, matrix. I extracted chloroplasts from plant cells and I placed them inside this uh, silk material, uh, silk protein. And as an outcome I had the first uh, photosynthetic material that was working and breathing as a leaf does. It's very light, low energy consuming, it's completely biological and my, my idea in fact was to use the natural efficiency into the man-made environment. First of all, I was imagining it as a free surface that you could manage uh, even for interior design or space separations. I also created some lighting out of this material, like using the light for us to, to illuminate the house, but at the same time using that light to create oxygen for us but at the same time could be used for outdoor applications, so facades, then but inside uh, ventilation systems, uh, you can absorb air from outside and pass it through these biological filters and then bring inside an oxygenated air. Oxygen is very good for human well-being. As you know, oxygen improves the longevity of human life, uh, improves the focus of us and also health so many also other details uh, around this. Sick leaf could be also used uh, for uh, space exploration or space architecture uh, simply because, uh, as you may know, plants doesn't grow in zero gravity. NASA is researching, trying to find different ways to produce oxygen for long space journeys, also to let human living into space. And so this could be really one of the first device material that could allow us to then go and explore the space much further than we can now. Yeah.